Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use higher textures in Fortnite Creative 2.0. So with that being said, we're already in here. I'm going to drag and drop this dragon on the scene. It's a really high poly dragon head. I'm going to go ahead and scale it to five so we can see this a little bit better. I'm going to press E and we're going to rotate it and I'm going to zoom out. As you can see, it looks good. But like I said earlier in my previous video, if I go look at the textures, this is going to be importing a 2048 to 2048, even if I set the LOD bias to zero. Now, again, that is probably for a good reason, since as you all know, Fortnite is a cross-platform video game. So Switch needs to be able to run it, PC, consoles, you name it, uh, Fortnite is pretty much on it. So with that being said, increasing your textures in here with that in mind is probably not a smart idea. But if, whenever you're creating cinematics or something like that, and when you use the highest level texture possible this is how you're going to be able to do that so there's a couple of ways you can do this in here the first one if i change the texture group to now cinematics right here you're going to see that that's going to bump up all the way to 4096 even with lod bias of zero right there it's not going to increase it anymore it's not going to change however if you want that bumped up to 8k what you can do is go to mip gen settings and switch this to no mip maps and you see right here our character is going to get a lot crisper and right here it's going to be 8192 by 8192 and again even if i set that to zero nothing's going to happen now again depending on your project you might not be able to cook an 8k texture setting model i was able to cook at 4k but not 8k so again just use this with caution all right that's pretty much it that's all i got for you all today i've been getting a lot of questions about fortnite creative 2.0 so if you want to learn more about Fortnite Creative 2.0 or Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Let me know in the comments below. What do you want to know about this platform right here? And we'll see what we can do. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.